there everybody, Bilbo10000 here, bringing you another episode of Magnamal 2, and today we are here outside the shop because I recently decided to go farming for some bolts, specifically 2,008 bolts, and now we can afford everything else in the shop. And on top of that, we did get a challenge achievement for managing to get 1,000 bolts in one run, so... Hi there, Eddie. Welcome back, Mega Man. Boy, you really get around. Your bolts are in the thousands. Well, I'd like my charged buster upgrade, and I'd like my drop rate upgrade. And we got a new costume available, which we may as well go check out. So let's go do it. And I guess if we can afford the costume after all of those uh, purchases we just made, we can actually use the costume in today's uh, levels. So let's go and see what we've unlocked. And then we'll head back to tier 5 and continue on our merry way. Hey Roll. Hi again brother. Feel free to buy a costume or pick one you've already bought. And we've unlocked Metal. Okay, I'll take it. Good choice. Metals are just so adorable. <gasps> oh, we're a little Met. <gasps> oh, that's adorable. I think we're probably going to have the same hitbox though as normal Mega Man, so that should be interesting. But anyway, we have some more levels to do here in Tier 5. So, last time we did that weird King Henry VIII level that I kind of didn't like too much and was kind of terrified of. This time around, we're going to be doing whatever this level is, and this level is 44th, AWD42, AD2101. Score, 28.4, 28, 29, 19, 39, 27. Let's do this. Ooh. Okay. I like the music. I really like the music. It's really cool. Now nah, she can't do this jump. Oh my god. This is a really interesting looking stage. Can I just point that out? Like, it, it genuinely looks really interesting. Whoa. Ah, oh, damn it. These tellies. Oh, but we made it. We're okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, no. Wait. Force beams! Jesus. No, I don't want to do all force beams today. They are not on the menu. Okay, so we've got some sheep man blocks. We got ourselves a noble nickel. And we got ourselves an E-tank as well. Okay, brilliant. Well done, us. Whoa. Uh, let me for a loop there. We've got some anti-grab physics going on. Okay, and Tama. Hi, Tama. There we go, Tama is down. We've got some uh, tigers as well, some jaguars. Let's see if we can take them down quickly. Yeah, we can. I'm gonna get my charge shot up just in case, because I do know it. it's cats. Oh, okay. Hi, cats. Now we're doing upside down quick man lasers. Great. Wait a minute. Isn't this the exact same... Isn't this the exact same pattern that the lasers were in... In the original Quick Man stage, just upside down? Seriously? Okay, I mean, I mean that's interesting, but like... Okay, Yoku Blocks. Had a feeling. The, the background textures looked very Yoku Block-esque. God damn, it's making us do all of these classic Mega Man challenges, but upside down. It's crazy. There we go. No! Ah, dang it. Do we spawn here? We spawn here. Okay, that's cool. And we spawn upside down as well. I wasn't sure if it would actually spawn us upside down or not. That's cool. There we go. Oh, it's one of these guys. I really like these enemies. One of my favorite little mini bosses. Just because of how much it got featured in uh, Mega Man Revenge of the Fallen, which was... Uh, the fan game that I beta tested for a while back. Um, I just really love those enemies in that game, and I really like them here as well. They're just cool. Whoa. Alright, lyrics. I see how it is. I'm gonna need to get my dual satellite out, I'm sure. There we go. I didn't see what that sign read, though. Wait, oh, damn it. Okay. Oh, I can't go back. Is this the boss store, or is this mini boss? Are we gonna fight cats? I wanna fight cats. It's cats! How are you, gentlemen? All your bass are belong to us. 
What you say, I belong to no one. Base? How? Where? I stole Dr. Light's intercom. <sighs> you have no chance to survive. Make your time. What? Ha <laughs> ha. What is going on? It's okay. Fight for great ju- I- I didn't know base was all like, you know, friends with us. I didn't think that was a thing. Alright, so... Cats sort of has... I think he's a Pharaoh Man. I think he's like uh, the Pharaoh Man dev kit boss. But edited so that it's cats, you know? Ah, damn it. I'm so close. Yeah, it definitely feels like he's Pharaoh Man. But I'm curious, does he have a, a weakness at all? Ah, nah. Let's just use the normal Mega Buster. Kill him normally. Come on, cats. Yeah, this is definitely the Pharaoh Man. It's like the Pharaoh Man dev kit boss, but it's just got a bit of rolling cutter, a bit of cut man, you know. It's sort of like, it's got a, load, a little bit of everything, you know. Ow! Cat, stop it! You must, you must perish, sir! Alright, now, now I'm just... There we go, okay. I was, I was kind of choking at the end there for, for a moment. I didn't think I'd be able to do it, god. Alright, anyway, let's take a, a one energy element and two noble nickels. Let's see what the judges had to say. Snow Red Pyro, 28 out of 50. It's an unfocused string of ideas kind of level. There's no real theme to anything, and there's basically no difficulty curve. It's just setups that exist. I do like some of the setups, like how the Moose, uh, Moose Bale interacts with the Yoku blocks near the beginning, and the sliding on the spin platform setup right at the end, but the rest just feel there. The quick laser drops are just the ones from Quick Man's stage, but slightly tweaked, though I will admit I found it really funny how you made the second one be in reverse grab for no reason. The boss is pretty dumb, but... Uh, because it's a pretty blatant edit of Pharaoh Man, but more annoying because he deals more damage and shoots more projectiles, though the dialogue before the fight was pretty funny, but uh, yeah, it's just really a messy, unfocused level overall. Also memes. Juby Hornet, 29 out of 50. That was a weird level, but it was kind of fun. It was like a mashup of Plug Man's and Quick Man's stages with elements from others thrown in. I appreciate how the Force Beam segments had enough of a delay that the player could react without having to memorize the level. I like the use of the Yoku blocks, but the last puzzle was really hard compared to the rest of the level. Really? Uh, the boss was cool, but it felt like its hitbox wasn't big enough. A lot of my shots seemed to go through its head. Angel, 19 out of 50. This level is kind of all over the place, with the only recurring theme being the quick lasers. I hadn't recognized the second segment as such, causing a death the first time I arrived there. Upon closer inspection, it turns out that section is just upside down quick man stage, so yeah. Despite its lack of direction, the stage was still fun with some neat challenges scattered throughout. I'm not a biggest fan of the dialogue at the end, uh, finding it more distracting and awkward than funny, but eh. There's also a somewhat broken ladder near the first checkpoint. I wonder what happened there. Gariri, 39 out of 50. I really like what the author did here. The quick man sections were used in a creative way, and I like the other ideas here. However, the boss is just a lazy clone of, uh, Pharaoh Man. Anyway, moving along, the level design is fairly solid with Fair Enemy and Obstacle Placement. However, the stage just isn't super interesting. Regardless, it was definitely a fun level. Ace Spark, 27 out of 50. Zero Winged Mega Man? Who'd have thunk it? Did you go on an archaeological dig to get this meme, buddy? The stage is pretty solid overall, but some of it is questionable. Namely, why'd you just straight up copy the layout of Quick Man? Did you think we wouldn't notice? You're supposed to submit your own work. Copy pasta aside, the new sections of the stage aren't half bad. I just wish there were more of those rather than the filler. I have very few complaints about the rest of the stage. The combination of the gravity flip and concrete platforms is actually rather neat. The level should have just straight up had more of this thing. Graphically, there's some major weirdness going on. Zero Wing 16-bit shooter and Mega Man do not work well together. Finally, there's your boss. Pharaoh Cats is a snippy concept, but not quite sharp enough in execution. He needed some more modifications than he currently has to be a fun fight. Randomly thrown rolling cutters don't really cut it. And he's not the sort of character who tries to make paper dolls out of Mega Man anyway, so this battle isn't quite the cutting edge that Katz as a character deserves. I know he wasn't exactly a cut above the rest in his Source game, but surely the meme lord status of this guy should have meant going all out on the boss, and I was really hoping the battle would have been a sheer delight rather than the blunted edge that it currently is. 
A spark. I, I never want to read another one of your judge critiques again. That was horrible. Um, but yeah, I kind of agree. The stage wasn't very focused um, with its original work. As a lot of them pointed out, the Quick Man bits were lifted from the Quick Man stage, and I think that that should be more heavily penalized. I think that if the Pharaoh Man stage in Tier 1 was a criticism because it was using Pharaoh Man stage, I think reusing the exact setup of Quick Man stage should also have that same sort of punishment. But at the same time, it is the judge's decision. Hey, Wave Man or Dive Man? No, you're Wave Man. Oh, you're Neptune. I'm the only star droid in an arcade full of robot masters. Makes me feel like a fish out of water. 43rd, Corey Blue, Starman Recreation. Score, 28.6. 26, 22, 32, 32, 31. And five Noble Nickels, one Energy Element. Let's go. Let's do this. All right, so it's a Starman Recreation, except Starman stage was pretty good in the original. So the question is, why remake it? What is the reason? for remaking it. That's the question. That's what I want to know as a player. Hello. Okay. Jesus. You almost sniped me down with those goddamn fallen blocks. Absolutely no warning that they were going to fall. That's a little bit of a problem. You do need to have a warning for your stage hazards. Otherwise, there's no way to tell where they are, and then you're just going to get hit by a random crystal, which I have a feeling is going to happen to me. It's kind of weird how it's sort of so far combining Starman's uh, assets with Jewelman's assets of all, all Robot Masters. I mean, I guess it makes a little bit of sense, but I don't know if the enemies work so well in the anti-grav. God damn it. That is an evil uh, Noble Nickel placement as well. I just can't believe I failed the jump before the Noble Nickel. That's embarrassing. All right, let's just, let's just move through, move through. No need to... Oh man, okay. Move along here. I can actually stand on those shields? I had no idea that was a thing. Why has nobody in this game engine used the, that as like a, a thing yet? That sounds, that's, that's such a cool little concept. You can actually stand on those. I, I don't know why, that just really interests me. I will admit, though, Starman is a character and a robot master that I've had a bit of a rocky relationship with, so I'm not probably going to be the biggest fan of his redone stage, so to speak. I didn't even get the Noble Nickel. That annoys me. The fact I didn't even get the Nickel. Ah, oh. That's a really cheap Nickel placement. That I feel like a lot of people uh, so far in this contest have placed Nickels in places because, oh, we want collectibles, but I feel like they're missing the point of what the Nickels are actually there for. They're not just there to be collectibles. They're there to provide extra challenge, and that's not extra challenge. That's just a cheap death gimmick. Because if you fail that, you end up getting insta-killed by the death spikes, and then sent back god knows how long just so you can try again and fail again. Honestly, it wouldn't be so bad, but you need a checkpoint closer to your nickel so that it doesn't feel like we're just getting gypped. There we go. But we got it. And it looks like we're entering a new kind of part of the level. Okay, we've got Galaxy Man teleporters. Interesting. Hello? Alright, don't be too careful. Oh, I see that Noble Nickel there. Oh, okay, move to the left. Did that work? Yes, it did, okay. There we go, that is how you get a Noble Nickel, my friends. Ah, oh, yes. But that actually, that screen, it didn't seem like you could actually go backwards on that screen. So had I missed that nickel, I assume I probably would have had to, had to wait. And that, that doesn't sound too fun. Or too interesting in pretty much any way, shape or form. Ow. Also, it seems that the, uh, the Metal's health, uh, or hitbox is the same as a normal Mega Man's hitbox. I was wondering about that. And I think that's just confirmed it to me. Hello. Oh, there's a little ladder up there. I'd like to actually get in the ladder. 
Starman, are you okay? He doesn't seem okay. This doesn't seem like a very healthy Starman to me. Although we did just send that guy out of existence. I'm pretty happy about that, you know. All in a day's work. There we go, get some power up. And we're back outside. Okay. Got a few tanky enemies, you know, well not tanky, but enemies that take a few hits. I wonder if I can like maybe take them out quicker with uh, a charge shot. Really though, there needs to be an- This guy, he kind of went down extremely quickly. Oh boy. I feel kind of bad for the poor dude. Alright. Oh god, it's those same platforms that were anti-grabs in the, the last sort of Starman-ish stage. I'm getting flashbacks. Whoa, hey! Fanfiend, stop it! Oh, there's the Noble Nickel. Okay, in that case, what I need to do is I need to go backwards, and I need to boost my way off of here with one of the... with a Super Arrow. Boop! There we go. Nope! Oh my god, we're getting attacked from our, the other side of the screen. What the hell? This this is this should not be fair. That that I got attacked from the side of the screen I was not on. That is that is concerning, that is terrifying, and that just gave me a cheap death when I think I could have at least survived that screen had I not been getting attacked from behind as well as the front. God damn it. But so far the stage hasn't actually been too terrible. I think the design is a bit weak, and the fact that obviously it is based off of an existing Robot Masters stage brings it down in quality a little bit because it's not really anything original at all. It's sort of just... It's just using assets in a way that isn't that interesting? Dare I say it? Also, no satellite dishes! Where are my Starman satellite dishes? They are some of my favorite parts about Starman stage. And I haven't seen a single one! I'm offended. Wounded. There we go. Is that gonna shoot me again from behind? It is. Okay. So it's just a full-on bug with the stage. That's good to know. And... Oh, bolts. Oh no, I can't grab them! <gasps> but... But, 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 but... Come on. Oh, I can't grab them. Wait, actually, no, I can. I can get my Hornet. Bees! Give me those bolts. Thank you, bees. Alright, we're gonna get a Starman fight then? Because, I mean, if this is a Starman stage, there better be a Starman fight. Or not. Okay. Well, that was that. It's just, there's not much to say. It didn't really do Starman better than Starman did Starman. Star Pyro, 26 out of 50. Extremely inoffensive, and that's probably all it has going for it. This level just exists. There's nothing I hate about it, but there isn't anything I really like about it either. The Galaxy Man portal section is probably the best part about it, but that's really only because it's the closest to really doing something. The way to get the third Noble Nickel is kind of clever. Other than that, uh, it just exists. There's Mega Man 5 enemies, the occasional Fan Fiend, uh, the occasional Crystal Spawner, and that's really it. Juby Hornet, 22 out of 50. This is one of those levels that didn't do much of anything apart from existing. There's nothing else to really say about it. Angel, 32 out of 50. Some interesting ideas here, but I feel like their execution could use some work. I found myself having a lot of trouble with the enemy placements, in some places taking hits across the screen, and in other places walking through somewhat empty areas. The way the fallen crystals are introduced is something I don't like, since many players will take a hit from the first one if they don't know what's coming. I like your use of teleporters. Inverting the gravity is a clever idea, and I wish you would have done more with it. Overall, I found this level to be rather engaging, though it lacks balance and needed some more direction in order to truly stand out. Guriri, 32 out of 50. I'll be honest, for a Starman recreation, I was expecting a total ripoff of Starman stage, but I was fairly impressed by the original stage layout. Putting that aside, there is nothing particularly amazing about this level. The level design is okay, with some parts of the level requiring waiting for an enemy to lower its defenses, and a few places where the Noble Nickel is placed in an inconvenient spot. Other than that, there's nothing just to say about it, to be honest. A Spark 31 out of 50. I was a bit confused by the first few rooms and their lack of scrolling. I was expecting a repeat of Midnight Snow from Magmammal 1. Thankfully, this level does uh, was not that. 
decent level overall and good use of the Galaxy Man teleporters. The use of Crystal Man's gimmicks and enemies are a little odd though. The stage looks and sounds boring and not helped by the tiling being a more generic version of Starman's original level, and a remix of Starman's theme would have served you better than straight up using the original. Some of the later screens have really stupid enemy placement. There is one jump in particular that is infuriating involving a Crystal Man Crystal, that's a redundant name if I've ever heard one, and a Toss Machine. This jump is ridiculous. There are other random difficulty spikes throughout the stage too, mostly involving spikes, funnily enough. The Noble Nickel placement was handled pretty well, although the second one is a little on the hard side to survive. As good as the Galaxy Man teleporters are, I feel more could have been done to get everything to gel together and give a nice final climactic room to the level with the gimmicks mixed together. This level ends off a really low note, which is a shame because the rest is fine. The boss corridor and no proper boss climax doesn't help. It's a shame when signature robot masters don't show up to their own levels. Yeah, it, it, it exists. I don't have anything to say about it myself. Anyway, I think the boss is next, so we're just gonna keep going on. Hey there, Rainbow Man. Everything here is so pretty and flashy, especially you, Metal. I love you, Rainbow Man, you're great. Hey, Spark Man. A guy wearing weird clothes went into this teleporter. Is he part of some cult? I don't know. Info box 1200, tier five boss. There we go. All right, I'm gonna get my Mega Buster prepared just in case. On my Metal Buster. By the name of the Flashing Brian, we the Underdwellers call upon you, our Lord, to bless us with your bounty of... Is that Metal? Oh no! Oh, I love that animation right there. I just said the mid-incantation! Lord Ella Wufro will come into this world full of hate and anger! Run! Whoa. Oh my god, it's Elec Man, it's Woodman, and is that Frostman? Oh my god, that is hilarious! Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay, so he's using Elec Man's Elec Beams. So I'm guessing he just uses different attacks from the different robot masters that he's based off of. So I'm guessing Woodman and Fro- Those are lives. Those are Mega Man lives. Alright, I'm assuming this is Woodman because it's got green powers kind of flowing around him. Ow! Yep, that's Woodman. Damn it, I missed him. Oh, he's taking out a lot of my health. Oh no. Ow! Not sure fighting him with metal was the best idea. Oh no. Okay, gotta focus. Okay, now he's back up there. Is it Frostman next? Oh, he's using these again. Oh no! Oh no. I'm still alive though. You know what, I'm gonna use an E-Tank. I think I'm gonna use one. I wanna keep myself going. I wanna see if I can take this guy out in one go, but obviously. Ah, oh, damn it. Elec Beam still does like 50,000 damage, so you know, life isn't changing that much. Oh, not these again. Nope. All right, he's doing Woodman again. All right, he's using his wood attack. Where's he gonna release it? That side, okay. Gotcha. All right. Oh, I hit him somehow. Okay, so you can hit him when he's got the, the leaf shield up. Just not always. I think I can do this. This seems like a pretty, s it actually, now that I'm like kind of just getting into the fight, it actually seems fairly well balanced, all things considered. Damn it! Get down here again. Nope. E-Tank again. I need to use it. I'm not dying. I refuse. There we go. Come on, he's so close to death now, man. One more hit. One more hit. That's it. That's all we need. Get that wood shield up. Get that wood shield up. Come on. There we go. And the element fell right on us as well. Really nice. 
All right, with that, that is tier five complete. Lord Elawufro, you took out two of my E tanks. Not sure how I feel about that, sir, but that was a pretty fun, pretty fun set of stages. Um, today's stages were a little bit more uh, eh than, than previous stages, but you know, this was a really fun sort of tier. I quite liked it, and you can tell that the quality is just going up now. Like, we're, we're kind of getting past some of the really bad levels, and now we're kind of getting to some of the better ones. But yeah, that's that. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my previous Mag Mammal videos if you haven't already, or you can check out my Minecraft game show in the bottom right, or you can check out my Patreon if you want to help support the channel. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time when we start Tier 6. Goodbye!